So let's look at the following trend here. We have the generalized periodic table, metals, non-metals. So notice one thing to remember. If you can remember the direction in which the atomic radius okay, increases or decreases, right? So if we're drawing going in this direction, we know that the atomic radius is decreasing. If the atomic radius decreases, the electron affinity and ionization energy are always the reverse of the atomic radius. Same thing holds true if we decide to look moving downward in the group, right? The atomic radius here increases. Thus, ionization energy, electron affinity has to decrease. So it's always going to be the opposite direction. Okay? So the overview. Atomic size is the reverse trend of the ionization energy and electron affinity. Group 16 and 17 elements attract electrons strongly, thus resulting in a high ionization energy. They, they, they're less likely to want to give up the electron, but because they're less likely to want to give up an electron, they're going to have a high affinity for electron because they want to pick up those electrons to become stable. Groups 1 and 2 now, elements, they easily give up that electron. Okay, So they, they have a low ionization energy, very little energy to lose that electron. And they also have a very low affinity for that electron. They don't want that valence electron. That one or that two, depending on which group you're looking at. Noble gases do not attract or give up electrons. High ionization energy, okay? They are less likely to become ions. And they have low electron affinity. They really don't care to gain any electrons. Okay, they already have they're, they've already fulfilled the stable octet, the noble gases in group 18.